Okay, I should be streaming. Hello, anybody that's here. You guys can uh, you guys can send something in the chat if you're here. I'm here. <laughs> uh, this is kind of awkward and weird. Okay. <laughs> hi, hi, Jordan. How's everything? How's everybody? All right. Well, today, um, also, like, if there's anything like weird with the audio, or if anything's too loud, or anything like that, you are welcome to tell me. <laughs> um. Okay. So today. The plan is to play, yeah, to play a whole bunch of Mario games. <laughs> I, you know, I practiced a lot and I still feel awkward, but it's, it's all good. Um, I guess since it's eight, we can get started. So the first game I have on the agenda today is Super Mario Maker 2, because I got to talk about, um, my main thing to discuss is like the evolution of level design, which I'm pretty excited for. Um, so we're going to start off with 2D Mario, which is pretty cool. So the thing with Mario Maker here, this is pretty fun. <laughs> um, the thing with Mario Maker is, it's basically a way for me to like, just play levels from all the 2D Mario games because, uh, you know, I can't really afford to buy the online system or anything like that also if I you know die or do something stupid please don't laugh at me because <laughs> uh you know I, I don't play Mario Maker 2 like that but it's good enough and um, <laughs> this level also I should mention mention is in the 3d is in the Super Mario World style which was released in 1990 for the SNES I just got hit and I died because I was talking. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I didn't make this level. This level is, um, it's the title screen. So it's kind of cool because like Nintendo sort of, um, you know, gives pre-made levels. I'm going to beat this real quick and then I'll show you a level that I made real quick. Hold on. As long as I don't, you know, die. Isn't that crazy that that just happened? <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Uh, all right, hold on. Give me a second. I noticed also that like, I don't know why I decided, don't die. I don't know why I decided to, uh, you know, I love Mario, but I did notice while I was practicing that it's difficult to, um, to play and talk at the same time. Something that I noticed. So, okay. I beat the title screen level, which is cool. I'll show you a level that I made real quick. Um, okay. So, I made this level. This is basically a replication of 1-1 from Super Mario Brothers that was released in 1985 on the NES. So, I tried to be as faithful as possible. This is the first level that I also ever made in Mario Maker. So, you know, I took a little, a little easy. But I wanted to talk about a couple things first. So, this level... It's a very iconic level. There's a couple of differences from the um, original game and then Mario Maker. The first thing being that, I mean, of course, it's in widescreen, so that that's totally different. And then there's like the arrow that's pointing you to the right. But honestly, on the original, I feel like that arrow isn't even necessary because um, there's so much empty space. Mario starts on the left side of the screen and right way is the only way to go so you know you're being pushed this way right there's a goomba right there you don't know what to do you try to jump over it right it's also pretty cool that you get all that space so that you know you can figure out what you have to do figure out your controls and stuff oh yeah and i forgot to mention you can't go backwards on the original that is true <laughs> it is kind of lonely you're right um <laughs> yeah but then you know i also heard too um I was going to bring up an article from Ga Gamer Evolution. I think it's basically said that this level was one of the last levels made on um, for the game because a tutorial level is pretty important, you know, and there's a lot of thought involved. Like even here, you don't know if that mushroom is good or not, 
but because it hits the pipe, even if you tried to jump over it, you'd still jump into it anyway, right? Isn't that crazy? Stuff like that is, it's pretty awesome. So it's like, it's pretty, it's a nice easy level for a beginner. But then also there are like little hints and secrets that if you're a more seasoned player, you wouldn't even know. Like you wouldn't know to go in that pipe, you know, first time. But like after playing for so long, it's like you get a little treat. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> That's pretty cool, I have to say. Um, yeah, I got hit there. That's okay. It's fine. It's the end. I just wanted to show you basically how important that first level is as far as, you know, having a way to teach the player what to do, but then also having special things for a player who's already played to, to do stuff with. Um, so yeah. <laughs> also, I should say that here, I'll go into the maker real quick. Um, just to show you how the interface is to make stuff, which is pretty cool. And also you can like easily change gaming styles. Um, so like Super Mario Bros. was 1985. Mario Bros. 3 was 1990. One of the uh, like last few games on the NES. Super Mario World is the same year on the SNES. And then um, New Super Mario Brothers, which the original game that was released in 2012 actually used 3D models, you know, for a 2D, 2D game. But then Mario Maker, I believe, changed it to 2D sprites. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, anything else? I made like a whole list of things to talk about because there's a lot of things. Uh, I think that's it for Mario Maker, though, unless you guys want to see something. But otherwise, I can switch to the next game because there's a lot of games here. <laughs> that I wanted to do. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. So anyway, let me move on to the next one, a game that we have already played in class, which is Super Mario 64. I wanted to just run through to get a star really quickly. I have Super Mario 3D All-Stars, which is includes Mario 64 from 96 on the N64, Mario Sunshine from the GameCube in 2002, and then Mario Galaxy from the Wii in 2007. Yes. <laughs> um, so let's just let's just go into Mario 64 real quick, you know? Why not? There's Lakitu right there telling telling me what to do. <laughs> so um you know, everyone knows that this is like Mario's first foray into 3D. I mean, if you don't count the Virtual Boy, I guess, which was, um, I think, in 95, the year before. But, so I got two stars previously. I think one of them was, uh, I got King Bomb from before, and then I got a special, um, a hidden star. But I just wanted to, like, you know, go around, just notice the 3D world, notice the trees and stuff. This is, will be all important for later. Um, and then Mario's moveset as well. It's also pretty cool that they put the camera on the right stick. And um, what else was I, I going to say? I don't know why the camera is spinning. That has me a little concerned. I hope that my stick isn't drifting, but I'm just going to ignore that for right now. Let's go into the castle real quick. Uh, <laughs> and thank you, too. Yeah, it does. It does look nice on the Switch. Definitely. Um, also, wait, I should run around the castle real quick to just... No, go through. I think the, the castle is so beautiful and the music and look at this castle. It's it's gorgeous. Look at Toad. <laughs> um, also, when Mario got switched to 3D, you know, they had to add a lot of stuff to his moveset because before he could only jump, really. I guess in each game, um, especially from the NES to the... And thank you for my noticing my shirt, too. But, um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> For the, um, you know, each game adds something new to his moveset. And 64 added a bunch of jumps. And then the ground pound. Stuff like that. So I think that that's very useful. When you're talking about 3D. But let me try to get this one star. In the bomb battlefield real quick. Uh, 
It's a race with Koopa the Quick. So, you know, I could just do that real quick, right? That's not really funny, but <laughs> I don't know. Let's fight him. Not fight him, but race him. We're going to win. It's going to be good. Uh, just run around the bomb battlefield here. Like, why not, you know? Yeah. I really have to get better also at like reading the chat and playing at the same time. This is like, I don't get how pro gamers do stuff like that, you know? Like I gotta pay attention so I don't lose the race. But uh, yeah. I also wonder if I should have probably, no, it's okay, it's fine. Let's just, let's just win the race, I guess. I also want to try out the shortcut here too, just show that off, because it's kind of very similar to, uh, you know, that hidden pipe and super. Oh man, see, I knew something like that was going to happen when I was going to fall, and now I'm probably going to lose the race. But it's all good. It's fine. It's. <laughs> I'm going to lose. I'm going to die. <laughs> you know what? No, I did this on purpose so I can show you that you know how dying is. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I probably already lost. Let's see if I lost. I don't know. We're going to find out. <laughs> Here's the shortcut right here. So maybe this might help me. Let's find out. If he's not already there. Oh, oh look. Oh, he's right there. Oh, I made it. <laughs> All right. I won. I, yeah, there we go. All right, cool. So, uh, yeah, I, I did it. <laughs> so I got that star. Isn't that so awesome? That's awesome, man. All right, cool. I was going to bring up that uh, even though I didn't die, but if I did die, you know, I would have lost all my progress. And I only have four lives, as you can see at the top. Uh, I guess I might as well say that. So that's cool, so I can progress later on. But for right now, we're just going to say that that's the end of Mario 64, I think. I mean, okay, did, did I, okay, you know what? Since you said that I cheated, Jordan, maybe I should just like do it, well, I can't do it again because I already got the star, but like, <laughs> cause I mean, technically, I could have made it without using the shortcut, probably, but it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. I'm going to um, I'm gonna get out of Mario 64. I think. I think that's enough for that. Of that, uh, I talked about a lot of stuff. Uh, <laughs> um, wait. What am I doing? I'm I'm so nervous. Okay. So I guess I'll move on to the next game, which is one of my personal favorites. Uh, hold on. Okay. So we've got Super Mario 3D World here. Super fun. This game first released on the Wii U in uh, 2013. And it was just re-released on the Switch a year ago. And um, I mean, you know, you say I cheated in the last game, which is crazy, right? But I'm going to play this game. This is like the first game that I've ever 100% completed. And it took a long time. And there's some really hard levels in this game. So what I might do is I might play through them and show you that like, you know, I don't have to cheat. Like, I just have the, the skills like that, you know? But let's, uh, let's play through this one. Uh, so this is like, what, nearly 20 years after the first one? That we, after Mario 64 that we just played? Um, and I really enjoy this game for one, it's completely different in the sense that Mario 64 and definitely Sunshine too are um, full sandbox games where, you know, you're basically like just running around. And Mario 3D World is also a 3D game, but it's much more linear than those two. There's a, like a start and a finish. And it's more, it's definitely like translating the level that we saw in the original Super Mario Brothers and putting that into a 3D environment. Yeah. <laughs> also, 
I also enjoy the fact that this game is multiplayer, so you can play with like four people and just have a good time, and then plus Mario's a cat, isn't that so cool? <laughs> yeah, I can just, I can just run around, because this is the uh, first level, so it's the easiest, and then there's like collectibles, I got all of them, it took me like 250 hours, but I did it, you know, so, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Cat Mario? Um, I think Nintendo just likes cats. I don't really... I don't know why he's a cat. That's just how it is. <laughs> you know, I never really thought about that, too. I mean, I guess it's just the gimmick of being able to, like, do stuff, like climb up walls. Here, I'll just climb up the wall, you know? I guess just stuff like that. And diving and stuff. It's super cool. You kill this bunny and... Get a big mushroom and turn it into big Mario here. Why not, you know? It's just a cool power-up, I guess. <laughs> just do what I want. Uh... <laughs> Alright, here's the ending right here. Um... And so something that's also different that we saw in uh, Mario 64 was that the goal in the level is to get any of the collectibles there. But similar to uh, Super Mario Brothers, the end of the level is signified by a flagpole. I remember reading that um, Miyamoto tried to implement that type of, like, you know, include a flagpole in Mario 64, but it just didn't work because of the fact that you're in an environment that's much more open, I guess. Um, hold on. And then also the music is great, too. I, I love the music here. But, uh, that's just me. I also forgot to mention that it's a very, um, it's a linear level, but there's also a sign that's pointing you to the right, that guides you to where you have to go. And then there's a lot of elevation. Like, I guess maybe that's also because of the cat suit, because you can climb up. So you're kind of, it's kind of implying that as you go right and up, you're going to reach the end of the level, which is pretty cool. Um, I also recommend a video on YouTube from Game Maker's Toolkit about 3D World's level design and how it's doing its own thing. So, um, yeah, and I think what I'll do, I might like just go and play the hardest level in the game. Why not, you know? I have some time, I guess. <laughs> um, it's pretty crazy too because, you know, I mentioned earlier that this game is multiplayer, right? And it's very difficult for me to beat this level without playing as two characters at the same time. But you'll see how that goes, you know. <laughs> and I'm only going to play a couple times because if I don't beat it, I don't want to be here for like, you know, what, 13 more minutes. And because um, and, we still have like two more games left technically. But I just might as well, since, you know, I put like 50 hours into it, I might as well just show off my skills here, I think. No, not one with each hand. It's more like I kind of have a safety net. So if I die, my other character will be there as long as I pop that bubble, sort of. See, I just got hit. That's okay. That's fine. Um, let's, just, let's just go through and see. And I, I probably will die super fast. I think this level is very long, and I'm about to- see? I already died. Already. Isn't that crazy? Wow. But I'll just- I'll go through a couple more times. Uh, you no, know, there's Peach, and I'm Rosalina, and I'm just- I'm just going through here. And yeah, I'm not- <laughs> I also haven't played in a while. I did practice yesterday a little bit, but uh... But we'll see what happens. <laughs> It's also hard to find things to talk about. It's like while I'm playing, and I want to play well, you know, I want to show how much of a gamer I am. But, I don't know. <laughs> okay, hold on. We'll see how, fa how, how far I can go. Uh, one second. Just gotta kill all these, all these guys, football guys, you know? Hammer, the charging chucks. Yeah, those guys. Uh, 
And this game definitely has a, um, as far as dying is concerned. Well, as you, you can see at the top that I have, a crown means 10, right? So I have like more than a thousand lives, but it's fine. It's fine. So like, <laughs> at these stairs here, um, this is definitely where having two characters comes in handy because I really don't know. Oh, Peach died. But that's okay. Um, I, it just takes a lot of time to go through this, you know? But we're going to see what we can do here. Okay. See, I made it through that. Um, representation of death. I'll bring it up in um, when I play the last game as well. Because I think it's very important how... I'm going to die. Hold on. <laughs> okay, no, I didn't. I think it's very important how... Even Mario dying, the process of him dying, has changed throughout the years, so. Uh, it's okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die here. Yep, I knew it. So, like, you know. That's just... I just wanted to show, just show that off. That's all, it's fine. It's, <laughs> it is, it's fine. I think, I think we can move on to the next game. I got ten minutes? Okay. Um, this is what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm going to leave this level. Now, um, with the re-release re of 3D World, it got packaged with another Mario game. It's kind of like a mini game here, Bowser's Fury, which is the newest game. Bowser looks so menacing and scary, but let's, uh, let's show this off. I really like how, how this works. Um... Uh, <laughs> Okay. Also, let me get my notes for this. I guess the story here is that like Bowser got super angry at something and I get also this game has very long loading screens. I don't know why, but it's all good. It's all good. Uh, <laughs> so I guess he got really mad. His son is trying to save him and he asks for Mario's help. So now we're trying to just fight Bowser here, but nobody got kidnapped or nothing, so that's good, you know? I guess it's just Bowser getting mad. I don't know. Uh, so there's Bowser Jr., you know? And what I like about this game a lot is that, unlike any other Mario game that has come before, so this released in uh, 2021, right? Every level in this game is just one connected world, you know? I think that's pretty awesome. Where's Plessy? There's Plessy right here, my dinosaur friend. Let's go jump to him. Uh, just so I can like run around. So it's like all the levels, it's just this one huge level, which is pretty awesome. I don't think that's ever happened before. Um, like even with Mario 64, you still have to go through the, the castle as the hub world. And I mean, technically every uh, 3D Mario game has a hub world of some sort, so. It's just cool how you can just swim around and go to each level, you know? Um, yeah, I'm going to come back here too so I can get a collectible here. Also, here's a cat. I think I'm supposed to give her to the mama cat here, make her a little happy. I think she'll give me something. Or no. No, she wants her other kids too, but that's fine. And look at, that's Bowser in the background. If you can see him. Just slowly spinning around. Um, okay, so there was supposed to be something here that I wanted to get on stream. Let me see if I can find... It's right here. Okay. Also, a thing that I forgot to mention is that... Um, with 3D World and Bowser's Fury, Mario has a run button. So if I press the button, he can run. But that is not the same for Mario 64. And I think Mario Sunshine, because of the more sandbox feel. Versus a very linear game like Bowser's Fury and 3D World. Um, so, I'm just going to go here. Try to get a, a shine here. Also, if I like go past the time by five minutes please don't be upset 
because there's a lot of games. But, I mean, we only have one more game left. But, I mean, you know. Um, that might happen. <laughs> um, I kind of just want to wait until Bowser wakes up here. So, I'm kind of just waiting around. I got that one shine. The more shines you get, the more powerful you become to fight Bowser. Um... Uh, So I get, oh, wait. See, look, Bowser's doing something. I think he's about to come. Let's just watch him. Hold on. And then you'll know he he's coming when it starts to rain and get all stormy and stuff. Yeah, I think, I think it's just this game, especially, that really enjoys cats. And you'll find it really funny because, like, uh, all the animals and stuff are all cats. It's pretty, like, look, even the turtles are cats. You know, but that's just, that's just that. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so Bowser's about to come out. Looking real scary here. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Yeah, look at him. He's just, he's just there. <laughs> I want to see him attack real quick. Maybe I'll duck behind here. Okay. Yeah, it's just a whole bunch of fire and stuff. Sometimes you can use Bowser to help you. Uh, like here, there are some blocks that only Bowser can break. And that'll get you some more collectibles, which is pretty awesome. So I'll just wait for him to, to hit this. Uh, let me get a good angle so we can see him while we're waiting. Okay, there we go. I'm probably gonna get hit. Wait. Ah, oh, wait. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. All right, come on, Bowser. <laughs> come on. It's okay that I got hit. I should also mention the power-up system. How you can have so many power-ups at once in this game, which is pretty awesome. So I can turn into a cat if I want to. That's great. And then he broke this, so I can get that. And then, um, you know, the more collectibles you get, the more Bowser goes away for a while. But he'll come back eventually. So, uh, yeah. I really like the, the new music in the Mario games. Because in, like, 3D World, that was very jazzy and stuff. And uh, Bowser Fury is pretty rock and roll. And I like how every game has a, a genre, kind of. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, Galaxy was kind of, you know, had the first orchestrated music, so stuff like that. Um, and I think that's good for for Bowser's Fury. So then what I'm going to do is just show one more game. I know I only have a few minutes left. But this is a pretty, a pretty good game. Hold on. Okay. One second. This is like crazy, just switching from game to game, you know? Yeah. All right, let's do Mario Odyssey real quick. Mario Odyssey came out in 2017, so it came out after 3D World, but before Bowser's Fury. But it is regarded to be one of the best games on this system. So maybe besides like Breath of the Wild or something, you know? Or like Smash, but, but it's a pretty big game, you know? <laughs> uh, okay, so here's Mario Odyssey. So I guess the story, I guess I should just briefly mention like the story of Odyssey where like I guess Bowser basically kidnapped Peach and he was trying to force her to marry him, I guess, and Mario's got to save him or save her like he always does. But um, so basically I was able to save Peach at this point. I didn't like really restart my file or anything, but we basically travel the world in this shape in this ship shaped like a hat. <laughs> so I think in this game, Nintendo has an obsession with hats, which is pretty interesting. And then, as you can see, my companion Cappy, he's like my hat on my head. He's trying to help me out and uh, stuff like that. So I think it's pretty cool. Uh, so here we're in the Mushroom Kingdom, 
You can also talk to all the toads here. Yeah, it's like everybody likes hats now. So, you know, pretty cool. Let's just, just go. And I think this game also um, has a lot of movement options too, as far as like rolling and like triple jumping, stuff like that. So here's the castle. Isn't this so awesome though? Like compared to Mario 64, look at Look at how they hit you with that nostalgia, even like the trees stuff. I guess there was a cat statue in the Odyssey. I forgot about that. But uh, <laughs> but I think hats are all the way. You even look at the Toad with his little hat. You can talk to Toad. I guess Princess Peach left again. I think she's just on a little vacation though. You know, I guess she felt like she needed to rest up a bit after being kidnapped. I don't know. <laughs> Here's the castle though. Doesn't it look so beautiful? Look at, um, it's just beautiful. This is a beautiful toad. I mean, castle. Toads are beautiful too. And Toadette is also beautiful. <laughs> um, nervous about the colonial opportunities that the ship can potentially introduce. That's very interesting. Um, I guess I never thought about that, but I don't know. I feel like I'm going to have to think about that some more. But anyway, Toadette's just telling me that I didn't do anything, but it's cool. Um, she's just, you know, she's telling me that I need to go collect some stuff to, I guess here the collectibles power the ship, which is pretty interesting as far as the story is concerned. But uh, thanks, Toadette. Thank you for your help. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you the castle, and then I wanted to get one collectible, and I guess that can be it. That's all. Uh, let me see. I think it's somewhere over here. I think like rolling definitely gets you places faster than just uh, running. Also, I should mention that Cappy acts as a um, as like a new movement option. I guess you can throw him and get stuff or stuff like that. Here's a collectible here I didn't get. I think it's really cool in this area how they combined. 3D Mario and 2D Mario and like one space and it's kind of like that throughout the game there are different places where you can be a 2D Mario so I'm just gonna get all these music notes here and you know <laughs> see if I can get them before the time runs out let's find out yeah I did it and I got a star just like I did with Koopa the Quick in Mario 64. Isn't that beautiful? That's so beautiful. Even with the, the music, I think Nintendo is really like definitely pandering to nostalgia for sure. And I did want to mention one thing about Cappy that's very important. Um, so there's also this gimmick in the game that with Cappy, any enemy that you come across, you can kind of take control of them, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> And like that can help you figure out puzzles and stuff. I can be a Goomba stack right here. Um, pretty cool, I have to say. I can see I got hit, but that's okay. Um, I should also, you know what? I should, I should die anyway, because I want to mention something here. So you know, there's my health system right at the top. But something that's different with Odyssey compared to other games is that when you die in Odyssey, we don't lose any lives because there aren't. <laughs> any lives in Odyssey, you just lose coins and then you're right back where you started, which is very efficient um, compared to 64, you lose a life and you get like booted out of the whole place and everything. So you can just like stay here and do what you need to do. And um, I guess to end off, wait, hold on. To end off, I'll just have my, I'll just play some music here. You could like play any song. It's pretty awesome. I don't know. I'll play this song to end it off. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching my stream. I think that I talked about everything. There's also a video on YouTube from Snowman Gaming that I found very interesting talking about. Um... It's funny that you say, wait, hold on. It's funny that you say that this game is like Dark Souls because there is this one boss 
that a lot of people say that about. I wonder if I can find them, but I probably can't. Hold on, let me see. I know it's 8.34. Hold on. <laughs> um, but the, the boss fights are also very difficult as well. So, I think this is a fight here, but I don't know who it is. Let's see. Mushroom Kingdom is like just a whole bunch- Oh no, this isn't even a boss fight. This is like a, you know, another nostalgia trip back to Super Mario Brothers. I don't think I passed this uh, little area, so that's why I wasn't going to show it off. But uh, I might as well until I die, because I'm going to die, so. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's pretty cool, though. You know how you can go from, see I'm gonna die, but how you can go from uh, 2D to 3D like that is pretty awesome, I have to say. Alright, yep. <laughs> yep, it's fine. That's fine. That's another um, showing the death. But this is cool, because you keep getting coins anyway, so there's really no, um, there's nothing bad about dying like in the past. So, um, okay, so yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for, for everything. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And um, thanks. <laughs> yeah, play some Mario on your free time. Thank you. See you later. Bye.